What's up, y'all? Come back in here with another fa reaction, man. It's Mons of the Future. And today we got Night Nightwish. Wish. We got Wishmaster. We got Nightwish Live. Live. It's been a while since we had a live. But we did find a good quality one from um from Wishmaster from Taria's era. So focus that a little shout bit. Shout out to you. There we go. And it, yes, like you said, it has Taria in it, yes. which are very rare to find with good quality, because they were all filmed in the older, early yeah. early two thousands. You know, you had your digital cameras, your your old kind of digital cameras, your flip phones, your Nokia's, those kind of things. Get <laughs> those things are indestructible. But if you want, to, I'm telling you, you, want a good phone that won't break, you run that thing over with a tank. You can! I doubt that one. What? I very highly doubt that one. I, uh, people throw them off buildings. They still work. Anyways, man. But, that's beside the point. This is great quality, so I'm ready to get into this. I'm ready to get into this too. And don't worry, when we get to um, back to Floor's era, we will be doing the live version. So yeah, but as many of them as we can find for live, we will do that. And we also apologize. We haven't been doing uh, the Nightwish albums as much as we should be. Um, so we're we've just be been like that. stacked with all these yeah. new artists and everything coming yeah. on that uh but yeah we're glad to get back to not wish i've missed them I, w I would like for us to get back into some sabaton too every once in a while too because yeah. i miss sabaton let's go that, that dead gun drummer up there, I, I, I hope everyone starts going on tour again so we can watch some of these lines. well as soon as this vaccination gets out touring don't try to sound smart just say vaccine i am smart <laughs> That once the vaccination gets out oh. worldwide, touring and see like you know how all the movies that were supposed to come out this year got pushed back yeah, a no, year. Yeah. So like once all the vaccination gets out for everyone and everybody starts getting healthy again, touring will start up. I'm hoping I can go see Megadeth this coming year. You no, know, that that really sucks too. I don't know if they're gonna be coming to Nashville now because I believe they canceled the Nashville show. That really sucks too because like. All my, I watch Netflix a lot, bro, and all the shows that were like planned to come out got pushed back like a whole year. Yeah, they're everything's so been pushed back. I gotta find new shows. So to watch. a lot of movies are, they're just now starting to put out more movies in the theater now. It's December. Yeah. Uh, but next year things should be, you know, getting back to normal within the first few months. Hopefully, Maybe. everybody gets this. Well, uh, let's go ahead and hop in this. But I, I plan on going to see a, a live show this coming year. I hope so. I want to. Dude, Nightly should be lit to see live. I wish they'd come to America more. I'd love to go see them live. Yeah. Somewhere like Bridgestone Arena. All right, man. Three. Two, one, go. Uh oh. Uh oh, Marco. Got that man's beard. beard is wild. He's got him ponytails, looks like. It's not ponytails, he's got him like twisted. <laughs> Thomas, dude. Oh, that keyboard! Oh. You want to say something? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that, like, back. uh, MPU yeah. is a very underrated guitarist. Nobody ever talks about MPU. I think it's pronounced Impu. Impu? I think it's pronounced Impu, Impu, which, whichever you pronounce that. It's he kinda, is, he's very underrated. He's a very underrated metal guitarist, and he deserves a lot more. Yeah, after after hearing Nightwish, he's probably one of the best I've heard. Like he's He's got a lot of amazing riffs. His solos are crazy, um, but his riffing, he's yeah, got I, some of the... He's a good guitar player. He's kind of like, he reminds me not of Dimebag, but in a sense of like, today's, by the way, 16th anniversary of Dimebag being murdered. Today? Just, yeah. Um, but he reminds me of how complex 
Dimebag's riffs were. Just rhythm. Man, you know too many dates, bro. How do you know that? December 8, 2004, he was shot. Juice World died a year ago today. On stage. Well, on the 9th. On the 9th he got shot on stage? No. Who? No, Juice World died on the 8th. Oh, same day? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that but yeah, crazy. today is the 16th anniversary of that, and it sucks. Oh. Oh. Oh, that keyboard. Oh. Now, well, oh. we heard. Oh, we've heard Tario sing one live song besides this one. It was um, Phantom of the Opera, I think. I think we heard her sing that one live once, and um, she sounds amazing live, actually. She is a good singer. You know, like she sounds just as good on studio as she does live. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, that only like the Taria era. There's some people that don't care for the Taria. Yeah, yeah. But I think like she's an amazing vocalist. Like she has a wide range. Oh, her and floor. She can, yeah. But like her era, she does like she has like those deep vocals sometimes, and then she goes real high. Mm -hmm. You know, the operatic. Now Annette, we really haven't heard much of Annette to judge her vocals we heard one live performance of her um and we thought that the live performance wasn't as good but it could have also been where it could have been like one of her very first performances with true. the band but um which could you know we have heard two full albums with taria and we've heard oh yeah uh a we've lot heard, of floor we've heard a whole album of floor and live versions like yeah crazy with floor when we first started so, so we've heard them the most that's why we didn't call me about annette Oh, why y'all? Okay. You're making me look like a poser now because you was way off, or you didn't want to listen to it. I'm way off beat over here. Way off. That's my biggest problem when playing in my own band is my timing on certain things. Timing is hard, so don't judge me. <laughs> Uncoordinated. What? Ooh, tasty. Oh. He's just casually walking around doing that. Ooh! Something I noticed too was <laughs> probably should have paused it right there. Um, <laughs> Something that he is about also happen. the only guitarist in the band at this point. He still is. 
Is he the single guitar player in the whole band? Well, I mean, Marco plays bass. Yeah, but that's or not... guitar a, sometimes. Well, he has that bass that has a guitar well, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the same thing. He has thing. that double guitar. That's cool. That's, cool that's the same thing with Dime. Is he was the only guitar player in Pantera. I mean, I think... Um, I think Troy... I think Troy might play guitar a little bit. Sometimes when he comes He in. plays the other... He plays different stuff, though. Oh, this man. did you see that? Yeah. He plays different stuff, though. So... Rest in peace to Dom. That's going to be my next album ranking, is I'm going to do it for Dom. I'm not going to lie. He's a good guitarist. He's but, an amazing guitarist, but I'm not a big fan of Pantera. He's amazing guitar. Well, they, like, this is the one that you probably would like, because it's not like... Those are super heavy. The Cowboys from Hell is, like, more melodic. But, um, I think the group's presence, like their stage presence right now, is unaffected. Like, you don't... See a difference at all? No, like they're still great live. Oh yeah, they're, they're still in key with each other. Still a tight band. This is one they're of the probably best. one of the best live. Oh, yeah, bands. I was about to say that. Yeah, one of the best live bands I've ever heard. Um, because a lot of bands, especially when they switch members and stuff, they don't sound as tight together. You know, nah. they don't sound like they're having as much fun. But they but have a lot of fun. I see. With them, they always seem to. They know their part. They know, you know, even when someone new comes in, they know their parts and. It sounds great. I was going to say right here that uh, I like this part of the song right here because she's like doing those soft vocals while <laughs> dude's just going hams on the drum. He's he, just going dude, crazy. He's an underrated drummer, both of them, because I don't know their names at the moment, but both the drummers that have been in Nightwish. I can't think of it. Because uh, I know one of them was from Winter Sun, right? It starts with a K. Is it right? One of them is. From Winter Sun? Yeah, but I don't think it's this one. He's the later period one. I think so. But either way. Y'all got to remind us about that. They go crazy on the drums because their rhythm, they literally do double bass the whole time just about. Yeah. All right, we talking too much. Let's go. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Dang! Oh! Dude, I love the keyboard in their music. Oh! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think Down Out There is my favorite. On the album? Yeah, because I'll tell you why I think it too. Uh, I think a, it because it's a live performance. And yeah. You get to see more than just the audio. audio. You get to see the actual. You get to see the stage presence. Yeah. And their chemistry. Um, Which is what I love about the live ones. Now, I think it's a perfect fit for the album, the, the title track. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's a perfect title track for an album. Uh, it's amazing. Yep. Every song on this album, though, I think this is my favorite one. It even I, I, as much as I loved Oceanborn at the moment, this one is beating it for me. This album. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and I love Oceanborn, but I think this one has got to edge up because it's more. It's a little bit heavier. The vocals are a little bit more produced and sound like, better. I feel like the album's just gonna get better. Um. The instrumentation, like solos and stuff, is better. You hear a little, you get little interludes of different instruments here and there and stuff throughout I don't the know album. What the next song is. I, I just I think Wishmaster is the best one so far. What's the next song on this album? Let's see here. Um, I was about to show it to you. Bare Grace Misery. I'm gonna see if she has a live version of that, and I'll tell you if we're gonna do the live. But, oh. <laughs> There is. I don't think that is. It's a cover band. 
Well, I don't think so. Who's that singing? Where? That one. This one? Oh, that is Tario. That's just Sleepwalker, though. Never mind. Um, so I don't huh. think there is one, but if we can find one, we're going to do the live version. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Be sure to like, share, song, comment, man. subscribe, do all that good stuff. Click the bell. And y'all know what we do with the crow. Yo, Jeff, gang. Thanks, yo, man. Peace.